are at Epcot once again, but today is special because it's the start of the Flower and Garden Festival. Today is opening day and so it's rather crowded, but it's also rather beautiful. So we are checking out Club Cool first because I've never been and they are shutting it and character spot down soon for something new construction so we're gonna check this out and I'm going to drink every single flavor of soda they have even the really gross one that Jack and Chris hate so we're going from right to left on the machine because the last one is Beverly and apparently that's the really gross one so this first one's Brazil let's see it smells nice it's weird it's very flavor. it tastes like a gummy like I'm drinking a weird like medicine vitamin gummy. Not awful though. So Brazil's like medicine drink. <laughs> Next we're on to Peru which Chris said is really good and I trust their taste so let's see. Oh it's like, it tastes like butterbeer almost. It's like cream soda is what it tastes like. It tastes just like butterbeer. So, it is amazing. Okay, we're on the South Africa, which is apparently not frizzy, but smells very nice, like tropical. Because it's kiwi mango, so it smells like kiwi mango. Oh, that's really good. I would buy this drink, like in a store, and would drink it. I wonder if they have kiwi mango juice in the store. Oh, I might buy kiwi mango juice in stores now. This is really good. Now we're on to Japan, which is carrot juice because apparently Japan hates us. Oh my gosh, it overflows and I poured it everywhere. It's on my shoe now. I haven't even tasted it and it's been awful. Okay. It like way overfilled. It tastes like apple juice. It's like that, what, V8? That they just like, it's like, oh, it's fruit juice, but it's actually vegetables. It's not great. Not the best, but it's not bad. So, I mean, at least there's that. We're on to Thailand now, which is the one I was most excited to try because it's melon flavored and it's got like a picture of a watermelon on it and watermelon's my favorite flavor of anything ever, so. That's weird. Tastes weird. Tastes like fake watermelon soda. It's, it almost tastes like Fago. It almost tastes like the Fago watermelon. That's why I was recognizing it. The Fago one's watermelon and pineapple, and that's like what this tastes like. It tastes like watermelon Fago. We're on to Greece, which is apparently just pineapple Fanta. So, tastes like exactly what you would expect pineapple soda to taste like. It's just pineapple flavoring. To Zimbabwe, which is aggressively red. I don't know if my phone will pick up what shade of red it is. Ill. <laughs> I, it's raspberry cream soda I think is the flavoring but it just makes it a very weakly like it's very weak raspberry taste it's just what it is it tastes like what like raspberry like carbonated water it tastes like seltzer water not as bad as seltzer water but not great I've returned to my corner here being the weirdo I am over just in the corner and we are on to the last one, Beverly, which apparently, according to my friends, is terrible. And I've decided I'm going to drink the whole thing instead of just one sip, which Chris thinks I'm going to want to drink one sip. I didn't even read the flavor description. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. What is it? Bitter. I like, I like it. Bitter flavor, popular non-alcoholic. I don't know what that word is. Okay. It's bitter. I don't like bitter stuff. Let's see. This would be a lot worse if this didn't taste exactly like the cough medicine I had to take when I had my awful cough. And so I'm used to this flavor. <laughs> it tastes st like straight cough medicine. <laughs> but I drank the whole thing. If the butterflies are alive yet, if they've woken up, there's one. A butterfly has been spotted.
Red roses too. <laughs> Red roses too. Chris has to deal with us. the world showcase with one sight in mind and we're going to see if he is still here inside of that TARDIS Tim we found them it's it's them that boy for another Disney secret here in the toy soldier that maybe not a lot of people know about oh my gosh there's Peter Pan merch in here the back of the toy soldier is Christopher Robin's room but it's banned to the public, which is tragic. We're not allowed. That's where the band plays. But I want to be inside and outside at the exact same time. What kind of Civil War nonsense is this? an Epcot right here. Spaceship Earth through this gate. The golf ball is there. I want to go on the Shanghai Peter Pan's flight so badly. The updates to ours included audio. How do you feel about the new audio in Peter Pan's flight? At least you can hear him. Peter Pan speaks once again. Soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. <laughs> it is now food time. I got shrimp from La Isla something that I'll probably just write in. And then Chris got like potato pancakes. And then whatever that is. It's a pretzel Ham and cheese pretzel bread. Ham and cheese pretzel bread. And I then the exact same thing. Jack got the exact same thing. It looks delicious. Germany food. Official opinions of the food. It was really good. I like the pretzel more than the like potato pancakes, but they were really good too. Yeah. My shrimp thing was good, but surprisingly bitter for something that says it's sugar cane shrimp with lime sauce, and then it was very bitter. But now we're heading to America to try and get some chocolate cake because we basic and also I want dessert. So we head on. I changed my mind because it turns out that the chocolate cake had like nuts in it, pecans I think. So 
So I got funnel cake instead. And also it's nighttime and there's a concert going on now. So that's what the lights are. The main singer of Journey is performing tonight. Yeah. It took me mere seconds to realize what the problem with eating funnel cake would be when I'm wearing a black sweater and I am covered, covered in powdered sugar.